Welcome back to another piece of Top Choice Movies Recap. Today's film was released in 2018. Titled, Adrift. Keep a keen eye for spoilers, sit back and enjoy the film. After being unconscious for some time, Tammy, played by Shailene Woodley, awakens on the sailing vessel Hazana. After recovering consciousness of the fact that Richard, played by Sam Claffin, did not accompany her below decks, she searches the stricken yacht for her fiancé Richard, only to discover he had been carried overboard after his safety harness broke during the hurricane. Tammy yells in anguish, revealing that she is alone, with no ships or land in sight. Tammy Oldham lands in Tahiti on board the schooner Sophia in 1983, five months before the devastating hurricane, and meets Richard Sharp, a British sailor. After that, Richard asks Tammy to supper on his boat, named Mayaluga. Richard discloses that he has hallucinations while at sea, during a conversation while they are eating supper together. Back at in the present time, Tammy is stuck on a damaged Hazana, and discovers that all of the technological devices have been wrecked by water damage, prohibiting her from making distress calls. Tammy notices the lost dinghy with Richard clinging to it, and tries unsuccessfully to navigate the ship towards Richard. After falling off the boat and nearly drowning, Tammy has no choice but to fix the ship and get it running again. She improvises a sail using a broken pole and a storm jib, a triangular sail. She also uses a pump to keep the cabin from flooding before proceeding to Richard. Tammy discovers Richard with damaged ribs and a shattered right shin, after successfully rescuing him. Tammy discovers she has a severe head injury while scavenging for food supplies, then patches the wound with a sail needle and thread. Back in 1983, soon before going on the ill-fated journey, Tammy and Richard met Peter and Christine Crompton, played by Jeffrey Thomas and Elizabeth Hawthorne, owners of the Hazana, a luxury Trintella 44-foot yacht. After a family emergency in London, the Cromptons offer Richard $10,000 and a return first-class ticket to Tahiti to assist them sail Hosanna to San Diego, California. Richard agrees to the proposition on the condition that Tammy accompany him. Tammy subsequently tells Richard that she isn't ready to go home yet, but she later changes her mind. Richard asks Tammy to marry him with a handcrafted ring, which she accepts. Back in the present, Tammy realizes they've gone off course and chooses to shift course to Hawaii. Tammy wakes up to discover a tanker speeding towards the Hazana. She launches a number of flares, but the ship glides right past them and then vanishes. Tammy comes to the realization that she has been hallucinating. Richard develops a high fever, but Tammy reminds him that the sky was red in the morning, indicating that a storm is approaching. Tammy builds a makeshift shelter for Richard and herself in preparation for the storm. Back in the days, immediately prior to the hurricane, Tammy and Richard heard about Hurricane Raymond's approaching arrival, but decide to continue on to San Diego, taking a minor detour northward to avoid the hurricane's core, which features the strongest winds and worst surf. Tammy tries repeatedly to radio for assistance all to no avail. The storm unexpectedly changes course, and the yacht enters the storm's eye. The mainsail tears and the after boom breaks as the ship tries to keep afloat. To keep the yacht from tipping over owing to heavy winds, Richard and Tammy had no choice but to drop the sails. Tammy nearly falls off the yacht as she returns to the cockpit, after the ship encounters rough seas. Richard expresses his love for Tammy and orders her to go underground, where she will be secure. After encountering a rogue wave, Hazana is flipped many times. Tammy is flung around in the cabin, sustaining a serious head injury, while Richard is thrown overboard after being knocked unconscious by the mast, and his safety strap snapping. Richard slowly sinks into the ocean's depths, while the Hazana flips numerous times and then floats back to the surface. Back in the present, Tammy discovers that her vision of an injured Richard is really an hallucination, and accepts the fact that Richard is missing at sea. Tammy then notices islands in the distance and uses her binoculars to improve her vision. She blasts two flares in the direction of a Japanese research vessel in the distance. 
After that, the research vessel changes course and heads straight for Tammy, rescuing her. After healing from her head injury, Tammy returns to Tahiti and visits Richard's boat, the Mayaluga, where she bursts into tears when she sees the wall of images of Richard and her. Tammy then walks out to the shore with a frangy panty flower and wraps her engagement ring from Richard around it before releasing it into the waves. The credits then indicate that Richard Sharp was swept overboard and never found, that Tammy Oldham remained alone on board the Hazana for 41 days, and that she is still sailing to this day. Thank you for tuning in. Please feel free to share your thoughts on the movie you just watched in the comments box below. And don't forget to subscribe for more movie recaps to come your way.